Welcome back, awesome Ashley fans and subscribers. Here I have another SIC. Uh, this is from a master rider. I think this is Wolf Orphanock. And again, I have reviewed the uh, Horse Orphanock previously, which is an amazing figure. Horse one comes with a sword. This one, as I can see, only comes with two spare hands. He is a big boy, and he's going to fit into my fantasy verse somehow, along with my boss fight studios and other bits and bobs that I use for that. He does look good on the back. You can see him in a couple of poses. His articulation seems to be okay, but the sculpt is definitely going to get in the way. I can see that already, especially in his hips. And his head looks a touch small for his size, but let's get us open, have a look, see what he's like before I pass or we pass further judgment. This was a bit, it wasn't that cheap, but these are quite hard to come by now. When I got the horse off a knock, it was really cheap, something like six quid, seven pounds, I got in Hong Kong. But this is from in China, and this is, it's got a cover, no point in cutting that. This is in China, and I've not seen one of these in the wild. So I have seen the horse off a knock a couple of times. In fact, I nearly bought another horse orphan up because they're so cool. But it, before I clicked, I put it in my basket. And before I clicked buy, someone else bought it. It's like, no. Okay, so spare hands. Those are menacing hands. So you've got the hand part here and this sort of back part, almost like claws going backwards up there. And this big, big, big figure here. He just looks spectacular. Oops, just popped his uh, hand out. So it's worth noting that the arms don't go completely straight. They have a slight bend, really like that. You can see from the side here. He looks really good, very armoured. But you can't take those off, it's all moulded on. And he's going to have quite a bit of articulation that's going to be scarpered. It's going to be done in by his sculpt, which is a shame. So let's have a look. I'll give you a little quick... Look first, I'll just turn him around for you. Now he's 118. He's looking like he's approaching the uh, four and a half, five inch mark. So he can look left and right. Oh, he's got a tick in there, can you see that? He can go down and up and small side to side. And his neck has a small bit of articulation too. The neck piece moves. Shoulders, oh, left one seems to be okay. If I turn the angle around, I can get nearly flat. His biceps. He gets over 90 on the right, and just just over 90 on the right and left. He has trunk, so he can turn forwards, backwards, small side to side. Hips, because of his sculpt here, he doesn't get hardly anything. Forwards is not bad. Backwards is not bad, considering better than a lot of figures. Uh, he does have a bicep turn, or under the shoulder turn, I should say. Double kneecap, so he gets really quite flat on that. His joints are a touch loose, as you saw. This tail waist part does move, it's loose. Uh, he can get to a decent tippy toes. And his dorsal flexation, his Michael Jackson, is pretty good too. But there's no turn, is there? Yeah, there's a, ooh, there's a turn and a swivel on the ankles, that's good. The swivel makes it a lot easier. To do some poses, so I'm just checking another figure. Okay, so both hands are clenched. These hands are gripping hands. I would be tempted to go for a left gripping one, I think, and a right clenched. Now, as I said, my previous video with the what's it called now? The Momotaurus. These are little ball joints that go into the. Uh, wrist sockets so they're similar to um hires system for joint articulation so you can get your swivel on the wrist you may get a small bit of motion but normally not a lot okay so you can now grip something hopefully and the other hand get ready to smash it with a punch okay let's see how big he is i compare him to that momotaurus uh, 
or Taros or Taurus Taros maybe first of all who I just reviewed and he'd be in his videos you can see that he's a fair bit bigger than him he's a big guy and there's the building work in the back if I compare to the huge Sagat even compared to big Sagat he's, he scales really well now if I compare to a regular size figure I used Captain America last time. I'm going to use my uh, Valkyrie, who I just reviewed recently from Marauder. You can see that he is a big boy and Sagat is a big boy. This is a really, really nice figure. It's going to be great for your fantasy verse boss fight shooters. I reckon some of these parts could possibly come off. Stop drilling, we're not making a video. Uh, could possibly come off. So that waist part can, we have to take him apart from the waist, and I'm not sure how easy that is to do. I don't want to risk breaking him. Uh, he does look good, the sculpt is lovely. Just that, you know, you can't get a full lock out in the arms, that's why his wrist just popped out again. And the sculpt does get in the way of some articulation. So I'll be tempted to cut those parts off the side, so his legs can go further out. Particularly he's got feet that can do this, that can swivel. It seems kind of pointless having that if you can't utilize that when your legs go out wide. If you have a quick look at his feet, they are clawed, but three toes. Rather cool. Another great figure from this range. I do like him a lot. In fact, let me just see how good his dynamic posing. Even his legs are slightly more difficult to pose. Pretty good, and he can stand up quite easily because his feet are large. Another great figure. I'm glad I got that added to my fancy stuff. Okay, this is awesome action toys. I'm signing out saying please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back to the more awesome action toy videos for you. Stay happy, keep collecting. Okay, bye bye.